Okay, so in this uh, session, we are going to learn about comparing mixed fractions. We'll take the examples. So, compare 2 and a half with 3, 3 by 4. Now, when we take mixed fractions, mixed fractions means we have whole plus a fraction. Now, in this case, when we see that we have two parts of something and one by two part of that. Whereas in the other case, we have three parts of something and then three by fourth of it. So it is like whole and part, whole and part. Now, it is straightforward visually. You can tell that we first just have a look at the whole. So we have three whole parts and two whole parts. So straightforward, this is going to be greater. We do not even have to look at the fraction that is involved here. So for example, let's say somebody says I have two and a half apple and the other person says I have three and three by fourth of apples. So straightforward, you can figure out that the guy who has three apples will, three apples are more than two. So you don't even need to compare the fraction irrespective of what fraction is here. So in this case, three 3 by 4 is going to be greater than 2 and half. So I'll just change the color. So this is one way. Now uh, let us take this another example. Now in this case what we have done is the whole is kept as same. So we have this fraction as 4. So we have 4 whole parts and then 1 fourth of something. And then we have 4 whole parts and 3 fourth of something. So now in this case, since the whole is same, that is we have 4 as the whole parts for both. Now we need to look at the fractions to figure out. So it is essentially comparing 1 by 4 versus 3 by 4. Now we look at it whether what type of fraction is this. Now we see that the denominators for both of these fractional parts of this mixed fractions are same. So these are like fractions and we know that for like fractions the numerator whichever fraction has a greater numerator is going to be greater. So 3 by 4 is greater than 1 by 4. So therefore we can say that 4 3 by 4 is greater than 4 1 by 4. Now in the third case that is we have five, two, five parts of something and two thirds of something. And whereas we have in the second fraction, we have five parts of something plus five by four parts of something. So in this case, again, what we see is that the whole part is five. So we cannot make a decision whether which one is greater. So we will not count this whole into the picture. But now we have to compare the fractional part of the mixed fractions. So it is like we have to compare 2 by 3 versus 5 by 4. Because we have to compare this. Now if we have a look at it, these are unlike fractions with different denominators. So we can use the LCM method to find out the LCM and convert these fractions whose denominator is equal to the LCM of these two. So the LCM of 3 and 4 is 12. So then we find out the fractions, equivalent fractions with the denominator. So 2 times 3. So when I multiply this 3 by 4, we will get it to be 12. So the equivalent fraction is going to be 8 by 12. And for the another fraction, which is 5 by 4, we multiply both the numerator and denominator by 3 to get 12 as the denominator and we will have 15. Now we know that these are like fractions so we can straightforward figure out that 15 parts out of 12 parts are definitely greater than 8 parts out of 12. Therefore, therefore 5 by 4 is greater than 2 by 3 which essentially means that 5, 5 by 4 is greater than 5, 2 by 3. Now, uh, in all these three examples that were discussed here, we use the, uh, the whole part and then we try to compare 
the fractional part. So first we just saw whether can we compare between the whole parts. But if the whole parts are same, then we just figured out, then we applied the usual logic of comparing the like fractions and the unlike fractions. Now there is one more way in which you can do this comparison. So you can convert this mixed fraction into an improper fraction form and then do the comparison. So for example, we have two and a half here, two one by two. So when I want to convert it into its improper fractional form, so we multiply this two, two times two is four plus one is five by two. So this is the improper fractional form for two and a half and for three three by four, what do we have this 4 times 3 is 12 plus 3 is 15 by 4. So now we have these two as the improper fractions and now I can uh, uh, these two are improper plus they are also unlike fractions. So when I want to compare them I need to find out the LCM. So the LCM of 2 and 4 is going to be 4. So what I need to do is simply multiply this so that I get a denominator as 4. So when I say 5 times 2 multiplied by 2 for both gives me 10 by 4 and for the 3 3 by 4 we already know that it is equal to 15 by 4. Now what we have done we have converted these into like fractions and it is straightforward whichever one has a greater numerator is greater. So in this case the number 15 by 4 is greater than 10 by 4. So just let me write it here. 15 by 4 is greater than 10 by 4 which agrees with the analysis that we did over here. So this was our discussion on comparing mixed fractions.